Welcome to the Reality Check, the most outrageous podcast in the UK. I'm Josh Spooner. I'm Schwan Maroof. And I'm CJ. Today we are joined by this small blue-eyed blonde thing <laughs> called Alexia. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, it, bro, it just that's just what came Have out. Some respect. It's better than Sorry. creature. <laughs> creature. Yeah, I wouldn't be that rude. So, who are you? What do you do? I am Alexia Woods, and I do adult content creation. Wow. I know. No, original, never never, never met an OnlyFans girl. I know. Literally never. New so concept. So you do OnlyFans? Yeah, mad, isn't wow. it? What is OnlyFans? No, it's just like this little site where you get to post pictures. So, what do you post on there? Like pictures of like cats and dogs. Yeah, but that's what not are these what the main socks, thing. mate. I've got the best socks. I like them, to be fair. Frogs. They're fancy. I've got what, five what, pairs what? of them. They're better than yours, like, they're slightly mate. Different. Look at the state of that, mate. I'm not Have you even funny. got socks on? He's wearing those little, like, the <laughs> ankle <laughs> socks. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have socks on, mate. You do, mate. No, I don't. Mate, I, can I can see, see them. Can what are you talking about? Is that part of the shoe? Is that part of the shoe? Oh, no, it might be part of the shoe. Do you want to bet? Yes, I do. How much do you want to bet? £100 right now. £100? Yep. Okay. Oh, what about that one? Transfer me the money. <laughs> no, what, what, what about, about that, that one? What about that shoe? <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah? Transfer yeah. me the money now. Yeah, we didn't shake, mate. So <laughs> we didn't shake. <laughs> oh, fuck it, hell, mate. Just break the suit. <sighs> Wait, you guys still ain't subscribed? All right. That's a good start. Let's start. What were we talking about? Um. So. Which boxer FaceTimed you with his cock out? Jorge Linares. You probably don't know him. Whoa, him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck what happened? <laughs> Nothing. He just calls me with his cock out, like, all the time. As in, like, just oh, not even... Just, like, yeah. like, just vibes in, like, expecting me to get my tits out. Really? Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah, he's got a girlfriend as well. <laughs> what the fuck? Who I just know. FaceTimes a girl randomly with their dick out? I Wait, how does he have your number? I gave him my number, but, like, I didn't expect him to... Because he said he was going to send me a free T-shirt. <laughs> so you I was gave, like, yeah, that banging T-shirt. You gave whatever. out your number for a free fucking yeah, T-shirt. Yeah, fuck it, why not? You, you know you can buy I, them, I, right? I, I'm not what, T-shirts? Yeah. Really? She's giving out a number for a free T-shirt. You need to it's buy a, cool a T-shirt. t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> mate, let me address this. You need to buy a T-shirt. Ten minutes mate. before I arrive, they're like, you need a shirt. So I've just been handed down this Oompa Loompa's clothes <laughs> that I don't do up. <laughs> All right, um, we've got a segment on uh, each episode that we're doing from now on, and it's called, Do You Think Josh Should Get a Haircut? Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> right, yes. So, would, okay, what would you change about this hot mess? Every you episode. You can answer everything as well. Do you think it looks bad? Be honest. It Be could honest. do with a bit of styling. Yeah, but how so? <laughs> Doesn't he look like he's put his hands on one of them? Esta- <laughs> You know them, them yes. el- electricity <laughs> balls? Yeah, the yes. static ones. A little bit. Like what? But you also like, I swear you got to bed really late last night. So I like, oh, I don't know. He looks like this all the time. I look like this all the time. <laughs> My hair's never changing. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit of gel. Like, just I actually put stuff in it, but I had a plaster well, okay. on, so I couldn't really. Would you cut it? <laughs> plaster on it. Yeah. Would you cut it down a little bit? They no. want me to go buzz cut. Oh, no. I don't think your head shape would see. Exactly. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's dead we shape. can't get any worse. So <laughs> yeah. it's a McDonald's shape. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> you are a um, All right. So who do you prefer? Has he got his toes out? <laughs> He's just chilling like this. Yeah, this is free content right now. Put that uh, on the Patreon. The hairy. <laughs> who do you prefer, Jimmy Savile or Bill Cosby? It's a great question. Great question. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Do you prefer... J- okay, Jimmy Savile, because he probably did fix it for someone. Did fix what? Jim will fix it. It's literally his TV show. So you prefer what? a child molester? Over what? A pedo- isn't Bill Cosby a paedophile yeah, as well? He's, he's black. So, so, so it's automatically do? okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you get a free pass. You can't what hate happens to Bill equal Cosby? rights? Just if you're a paedophile, you're a paedophile. Full stop, innit? Yeah, but... Not if you're Bill Cosby. Pedophiles are usually white, aren't they? Like Josh. <laughs> so, <laughs> he is on the register. Yeah. Is he? I'm definitely not. <laughs> Who looks more like a pedophile, Bill Cosby or. Uh, 
Uh, like, be honest, out of all three of us, who looks more like a paedophile? Please answer this correctly. Please answer this correctly. Who would you imagine? You know them, like, them, look, look you know at, them YouTube look videos. Look into his eyes. You know them YouTube videos where like- <laughs> Look how he's dressed. Where, 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 where they- where, They catch him. And, and then he's like, oh, no, no. Could you not imagine him, yeah? You know when they come into the kitchen, Chris Hansen comes into the kitchen <laughs> yeah. and they have the transcripts, yeah? The transcripts. The transcripts. The transcripts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's all Josh. He would be that guy. Bro, yeah. you no, look more like you would be that guy. Josh, yeah. we're, we're straight. Yeah. Can you answer the question, please? Who looks the most like a child molester? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like you'd look like you'd own a white van to put kids in the back, but- <laughs> <laughs> Well, that backfired. He hurt his <laughs> ego <laughs> so much. Looks like a white van. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you think this would be a white van, man? I don't know. It's very generic. Everyone but me. Yeah. I mean, you've got the best suit on, so he looks exactly. like he'd he looks a bit more respectable. <laughs> Why would you say that, Sean? Yeah, why well, would you say well, that? First time we actually met, you tried to stab me. No, I didn't. He did. That's incorrect. He pulled out a, a knife from the kitchen at the party. I don't know what you're me. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know what you're and, talking about. And I was stood on one side of the room. He was stood on the other. And I was like, listen, put the knife down and we can talk about it. And he was like, come outside. Come outside. <laughs> what did you do? It wasn't even me. It was just another black man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, What's it like getting punched in the face by a Mexican cartel? Oh, it's great because they don't know how to punch properly. Oh, what? Do you know how to punch? No, but they know less because they use guns. Okay. They used to shoot. It's I, feel, I feel like the main point of that question, though, was um, why were you getting punched in the face by oh, a Mexican basically. cartel? <laughs> I went to a drum and bass festival in Mexico. It was like a week thing. And a week, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah, this is pretty oh, long. Christ. But um, yeah, so the way the clubs operate in Mexico is the cartels are allowed to sell out of those clubs. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. there's nothing that security can do about that. But if you come in with your own drugs and try to sell those, they will pull a gun on you in the toilets, which is what happened. A guy came in with basically like eight grams of whatever he was trying to sell. And they got a gun pulled on him, the fight spilled out. And then, yeah, instead of punching the guy behind me, I got punched in the face. So you tried to <coughs> sell drugs in- No, in me, club. no. That's what I got. So you're a Mexican no, drug the guy so you're and a drug the dealer and you got punched in the face. Yeah, I was trying to join the cartel, that's what it was. <laughs> Bro, one second. Can you go like this with your hand? Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what? I've got really bendy fingers. Whoa! Now. I'm double jointed. Your hands are oh, backwards. I can do that oh, as well, which is oh, like pretty oh, cool. Oh, stop that. that. <laughs> no, not as much so as that. Do you ever look like, when you, go, when you finger your ass, do you go up and then like turn it I don't it finger my ass, get other people to do it for me. But. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Same. What? I don't, what? Same. What, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> He's such a creep, no joke. Josh, what have you put up your ass? Tell us. <laughs> no, what haven't you put up your ass? Would you put this cane up there? How far do you reckon you could get into the cane? Well, if I was committed. Yeah, you were committed. <laughs> committed. You lived it up. For, for pleasure or like you for someone's life? No, no, this is to save your life. To how, save how my life? How far could you go? Is he allowed lube? Know, so I, yeah, you got to allow me lube. Yeah, yeah, we'll get lube, spit. <laughs> oh, not yours, mate. Yeah. Or yours, actually. <laughs> Which, how far? <laughs> Probably like, what's that, like five inches? Probably something like that. <laughs> is it yeah, about five inches, yeah. roughly? Yeah, like five inches. <laughs> What's a good dick size? For me? Yeah. If you- No, no, no. For someone else. <laughs> Just fuck off. Um, was a bit rude. You got a potty mouth. Yeah. Thank you. Um, somewhere so between, short. I don't know, like five and seven. Anything bigger, I'd just like kill over in pain. Five and seven? Yeah, All right, what's five like inches? What? Stay there, no, do it. Refresh this one. <laughs> that's five inches, yeah? Have you got a measuring tape? That's, that's like- Keep it there. <laughs> That's like eight inches. That's not no, eight no, that's, inches. That looks like five inches to me. Oh, uh, it's getting smaller. No, 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 hold on. Fuck off, back on. What is that? <laughs> she made it smaller. Yeah, she made, made it smaller. smaller. You made it smaller. It was five and a half. You rigged it. Thank you. She's cheating. Five, five and a half as if that was that much far off of it. What? <laughs> so you'd be happy with straight up five? Yeah. So what's a small dick? Like anything smaller than five. So there's no medium. What'd you do with... with Quite a lot. With five? Where does, that, where does that go? Usually in the vagina, but <laughs> if you didn't know that, I'm pretty worried. <laughs> how, how deep in is the G-spot? 
it's about that far in. Oh, really? Yeah. Fucking hell. It's Can't like, ever reach it. Like <laughs> Not surprised. Still looking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, do you, what's your like favorite movie? By uh, um, probably 10 Things I Hate About You. It's a proper chick flick though. Uh, have you watched CJ and The Rise of the Foot Soldier? No. <laughs> You've you not seen, seen that, that film? One? No. You, you haven't watched research. that? What the fuck? <laughs> it's on Brazzers. No, huh? It's on Brazzers. It's on Brazzers. Oh yeah. God, no, definitely. Don't it's him that. and four other men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're battling it. No, the There's only, basically <laughs> a football in the middle. So the only image I got is him sitting in front of a couch with five other keezers in front of, behind him. Yeah, yeah. That's that what basically what happens. And then there's a ball in the middle and they fight to who can put it what, the like furthest up their ass. Oh, yeah. so you, what do you have to like jump on it really quickly? To try What's and, the, like, have, you ever put, have you put, ever put anything up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> what a question. I don't know. No, what a great I don't question, know. Sean. <laughs> would, you, would you like to? Maybe. You don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What this is? No, like I haven't put like a foreign object up there. Well, like a cucumber. Yeah, no. Like an Indian. Well, you're not allowed that content in RF anyway, so I wouldn't just do that randomly. Or a dildo. You can't have a cucumber. Well, yeah. No, you're not allowed to use like foreign objects and that's classed as a foreign object. It's food uh, though. It's, it's a, a dildo. Of fruit. A it's a foreign object. It doesn't go inside you though, does it? It goes in your mouth, not up your inside ass. Inside you? Yeah, but it doesn't go up your ass. Unless, I mean, I'm not speaking, I'm speaking for myself, not for you. What, so you can, you can stick like a, like a 20 foot inch octopus Yeah, those tentacle up, up your arse and OnlyFans, but you can't put a six inch cucumber. How do you know that they can put that up there? Uh, oh, CJ said about that. It's such a weirdo, mate, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a, with a squid tentacle. Squid tentacle, <laughs> fuck me. So what's the weirdest request you've had on OnlyFans? Stockage is a really common one that I get, but people- what? Stockage. Stockages? What is that? It is, ba it's kind of like how it sounds, but basically they want you to try and fit through a really small gap. What? Like, <laughs> and basically get stuck <laughs> and then Bro. say, oh, I can't do it anymore. Wait, there is a fetish for everything. And how then just be like, oh, I can't do it. Are you naked? Yeah. They'll like what? ask you to do it in like high heels and stuff, like try and move a cabinet or something that's really heavy. Is, is that? Not but then, do you not get? Does he? Does do you not get fucked whilst being stuck? No, I'm, I've never had any requests for that. They literally just want to have me stuck somewhere. What's the fuck? It must point? be like what a helpless person that? kind of kink. Yeah, that's thing. weird. That is strange. That's actually weird when you think about it. How do you even come across that you like that? I genuinely. Maybe you just see someone stuck one day. And you're like, oh, it's, like it's like that step by washing machine. It's growing. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum's just there getting stuck oh, in, don't, in, mate, in don't. the dishwasher. <laughs> and it gets hard. So what's it like fingering yourself with a pencil? With a pencil? Yeah. I've never used a pencil. I use a Sharpie. A Sharpie? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a foreign object I've stuck up my ass. <laughs> so you have then? Yeah. I forgot. That was like three what years ago. What colour Sharpie though. was it? Just the black one. Yeah, shock. Mm. Shock. <laughs> Real yeah. shock. No surprise. Not the, the white one. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be too small. <laughs> was it extra? Was it like extra strong permanent marker? That's usually what a sharpie is. <laughs> is it? I don't even know what to say anymore, mate. He's full of shit, mate. So <laughs> tell me what you do without using words. <laughs> um. Is that a salt shaker or what? Yeah, I, I'm, I work. There are there are things. there are going to be audio listeners as well, so they didn't see anything. Well, th how am I supposed to explain the it sound about effects, words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to, I don't know. The yeah. sound effects. Is sound that all you do then? What suck dick? <laughs> <laughs> do you do content with other guys, or is it just your partner? Uh, it's only yeah, one person that I do it with. Yeah, is that your partner? Yes, <laughs> obviously. Well. What about girls? Are you allowed to do it with other girls? I am allowed. <laughs> I can't yeah. do it myself. No, no, as in- would, would, Does would he allow you to do yeah, it? Does, it, would he put does he allow me? Yeah. He's okay with me doing it. He doesn't have to allow me. <laughs> no, but would he be all right with you doing yeah. it with other guys? No, not yeah, other that's guys. That's what I was saying. Oh, you said other girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So he's all right with you doing that, but not all right with you doing it with other yeah, guys? Yeah, because it's usually my mates that like, I'm doing it with, like, girl-wise. So it's just like filming a fun video with a mate, not like- going out of my way to fuck another random guy. Oh, so I do. are you into girls? No, so I'm completely do straight. The... I do it for work, yeah. Right. How do you do that? How do you become gay for pay? Yeah. <laughs> gay for pay. Um, it's right, just acting, that is, isn't it? That is what it is actually. Gay for pay, I like that <laughs> phrase actually. Yeah, how, do you, how do you get 
How does it not seem more fake? Do you not get like, ugh? Like if I had to suck his dick, I'd feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'd like to think so. Why are you lying? I'd definitely feel uncomfortable if I had to suck your dick, yeah. mate. Even more so. Cleanest one here. No, you look like you smell. <laughs> Bro, I'm in your shirt. That's what smells. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we all just just know that he has got a mini fan stuck to his waist? Strapped Is that hot? Yeah. <laughs> I get hot. Comment, comment down below if you are shocked by this mini fan. Why does everyone comment about this fan? To be fair, I could do with one as well. It's hot. It's, it's it is warm, especially yeah. in this, mate. Yeah. Also, we've got a mascot, uh, Chuck the Chicken. So you're gonna have to take a photo with him later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, so, it's a pretty of a serious question, to be fair. What would you do if your mate give birth to a homo sapien? A homo sapien? What, a human? No, a homosexual. A homo, yeah. A homo, right, do you know there's a difference between a homo sapien and a homosexual? What, what? is the difference? A homo sapien's just a human. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Look up a homo sapien right now. That's a Neanderthal. What's, in a, what's a homosexual then? A gay person. No. No. Are you thick? Ho Wait, what did you say? What was the first word you said? Homosexual. No, you just spelled the other one. Neanderthal. Oh, Neanderthal. No, the other one. Oh, woolly mammoth. No, you're my tits in there. How do you spell homo sapien? Homo sapien. No, 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 don't look it up on Google. I cheating. literally typed it in, word for word. Yes, human. she spelled homosexual. Okay. Yeah. yeah Wait, so a human is homosexual? If they want to be. Are you? Does that make you then homosexual? Yeah, I'm a homo sapien. You're a homo sapien, not Same. homosexual. How many Neanderthals have you had sex with? I don't think any. None. No. <laughs> no. What? How many homosexuals have you had sex with? None. How many homo sapiens have you had sex with? <laughs> Six. 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 How old are really? you? Twenty-two. So oh, when did you lose your virginity? What age? Fourteen. <laughs> So that's less than one a year. Yeah. Fourteen's young. Yeah. Jeez I feel like it's God. really common around here though. What, as in round here? Like Southeast. It's like, all of my friends like lost it at the same age pretty much. Well, I didn't. Yeah. What were you, 12? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I was like 16 or something like that. Late Where did you lose it? In a bed. In a bed? Yeah, that's pretty Where boring. Where did you, Where lose, you lose yours? I haven't lost mine. <laughs> I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Look at this fucking True. outfit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to sleep with me? You look like that every day as well. Yeah. Uh, what, because I'm Arab? Yes. You do actually look better dressed like this than how you normally dress. You, you Please don't ever talk to me <laughs> about anything. Have you ever pegged your boyfriend? No, it's not my kind of thing. Would you? I mean, if they were into it, maybe. So my question is, is it more gay for him to struggle to take it or be able to take it? <laughs> what? That's a great question. What would you prefer your man to be like? I'd want paid? him to struggle because if he went into it, yeah, yeah. you'd know that okay. he'd already you'd been You'd want used. a man yeah. though. Yeah. Like, no, but if he struggles- you? Huh? Do you struggle or do you just accept it? I never struggle it? with anything. If he struggles with it and carries on, that means he's committed to being gay. But if it slides in and he takes it well and he's enjoying it, that is also gay. Committed to being gay. So which one would you prefer? Either way, it's gay, mate. Yeah, well then- the, the former one. So you want a gay boyfriend? Not Well, no, because either way he's going to be gay in this situation, isn't it? A homosexual or a homo sapien? I want a homo sapien <laughs> that's okay. heterosexual. Oh, not, he's smiling. He wants to be pegged. He, I can tell. Yeah. What? He's smiling. Your boyfriend's smiling yeah, in the he background. He definitely wants to be pegged. He definitely wants it. <laughs> should, should we ask him? Do you want to be pegged? Uh, not right now. Okay, maybe okay. later then. Maybe later. <laughs> Clear out the room first. <laughs> but bro, imagine like one of your mates, they had a video get leaked of them getting pegged. Would you look at them less of a man if they were taking the pegging well and they were just throwing it back and being thoughty? Or would you look at them more of a man if they just couldn't take it, but they carried on? I actually don't know. Either way, you wouldn't look at them. Like what a position's man, really. the geezer in in the it's video? Be like, yeah, what position? Like, no, 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 no. Missionary, the, the he legs behind the back. <laughs> oh my God. Does the car get in the way then? If, if, it got leaked, go. no, if a video got leaked of CJ getting pegged, I would I would look at him more of a man if he struggled to take it. If You'd he took it. it <laughs> yeah. If he took it. I know I know CJ would bounce back up on it. Why do you think that, mate? I just can feel that's what you do. 
Well, you could feel it. Well, you'd enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> Maybe. Have you ever had anything up your bum bum? Um, not that I can think of. No. Yeah, have you? No, nothing going near that area. No? I'm not surprised. No. Not yeah. even a finger. <laughs> no, 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 no. I actually find that sh- I find anything very uncomfortable going anywhere near my bum bum. Your what? My bum. <laughs> I poo a lot, mate. So I don't know if it's going to smell you know. down there. Yeah. No, it yeah, will smell mess. down there. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we, you don't, know, we don't want nothing going near there. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> Your batio is a mess, mate. Yeah, it is. I have a lot of protein farts. Oh, delightful. Just not yeah. Like, Lactose doesn't really sit well with me. That is, but I yeah. love like chocolate and you know that kind of stuff. Milk. So I shit a lot. Like I really feel sorry for my partner because she has to smell all the shit all the time. So sometimes I, I wonder <laughs> that, like when she's going down to suck me off. Yeah, I'm like, does it still smell of shit? It, it probably does. does. Yeah, almost. Yeah, she's <laughs> not. She's not. She's she not is not it does smell like shit. All right, Just well, take a baby wipe. I better, to I better, it. I better, uh, better wash it more. Save yeah, but then it will taste like baby wipe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but she's. Yeah, I'm saying clean the arsehole. She's sucking his dick, not his arsehole. How so do you prepare to, for anal? I don't know. I've never done anal. You've never done anal. You've never done not anal. Like fully, no. What do you mean not fully? Yeah, well, half, I've had like a finger it. in my ass and a sharpie and a, a sharpie. One. Yeah, black one. But yeah, I've never had a full oh, cock in my ass. He he identifies as a sharpie. And I'm black. <laughs> I think you're going to be too big. Oh, I'm sorry. Black. I'm mixed race. Yeah. Yeah. Um, too big won't be an issue. Go on. <laughs> it will with my arsehole. What, why have you never tried that? Because my arsehole is too tight. I don't know. I just well, haven't. You well, you don't know. You've only put a Sharpie up there. Yeah, I've tried to put a Sharpie Five inches is basically a Sharpie anyway. <laughs> How big is a Sharpie? Yeah. Oh, it's the thickness yeah, it's though. Isn't yeah, it? it's girth inches. as well though. It's girth. Fucking yeah. Sharpies like that. Okay, so you don't want a pencil dick. No. What's the good girth? Well, not that. Fuck me. It's bigger than my hips. <laughs> what about the microphone? Is that a good girth? Or is that too big? I think it'd be too big. Well then. She's going like this. <laughs> she's the microphone's too big and she's going like this. <laughs> like that? That's the exact same size no, as the microphone. No, it's not. It's smaller. Okay, maybe yeah, it's like, the same size. Jesus Christ. It's With the same size. Two and a half inches. So that's like your ideal, ideal width. Girth, yeah. Girth. I wouldn't want anything thicker. Maybe like a Pepsi can. can. I can make you bleed can. otherwise. Pepsi can, but. No. no yeah. Have you ever had a, like a request where you're like, nah, I don't want to do that. Shave my head. <laughs> what? So what? I was, yeah, I was asked to shave my head for a video, but I, d- I like my hair How too much? much. He didn't even offer because I, did, I didn't ask because I didn't want to know. But I reckon the thing is like all these guys, they always say like, oh, let me pay you so much money. And they offer you like a grand to shave your head. Do you know how long I've been growing this? How long? Uh, Three years? No, since I was 11. How old am I now? 11 years then. Yeah. yeah. I, like, it's I not that long trained. though, is it? No, no, it takes exactly how long have I been growing it and it's still only this length. And why am I going to chop it off for a grand? Have you had haircuts though? Yeah, but only like trims. All right. Should we, um, should we play Are You Smarter Than a 10 Year Old? Sounds great. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Not these again. Oh, oh no, not these. I can't do this again, mate. You're not doing it, mate. Oh, thank God. It's her. These are <laughs> awful. I'm so excited. So we have a few flavours here. So when you lose, you have to try it out. There is yeah. bath. Snow, there is man. dead fish. My personal favourite. There's a booger. Uh, stinky socks. Booger's not that bad. I like stinky socks. There's a stink bug. Booger's the best one out of all the bad ones. Old bandage. Oh, chief pasties. Oh, yeah, actually. Liver and onion. Are they Delicious. all bad ones? Or is there any good ones in there? No, there's a few good ones. We got rid of all the good ones. Did you actually? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, we didn't. Oh, um, I'm, I'm really hoping so I'm going to start off with the first one. So if you get it wrong. I'm going to choke on a sweet. What language do they speak in Brazil? Portuguese. Oh, fuck. You're Jesus. smart. <laughs> I can tell already, you're smart. What century are we in? Pardon? What century are we in? 21st. How many minutes are in a quarter of an hour? 45. Oh wait, 15. Uh, get that bean. <laughs> get that bean, go on. What is this, the options to be? This is either gonna be a toasted marshmallow oh, or a stink bug. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> that is so fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> Better finish that. 
Yeah, swallow it down. Mm. Oh my god, that's delicious! Is so bad. It's nice. It tastes like cat food. Um, what's the square root of sixty-four? <laughs> oh my god, that's, that tastes so fucking gross. Eight. Oh fucking hell! What fair play, man? <sighs> Jesus Christ! I took maths for A level. A level. Uh, <laughs> when was the war of eighteen twelve? 1812. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna work. <laughs> what's, my favorite, what's my favorite color? <laughs> blue. No, give her a blue. <laughs> <laughs> so I want the blue one. Because if it's oh, bad, then it's gonna be too bad. I need to take get this taste out of my mouth. Oh. Fine. I do actually like blue. I want two bags. <laughs> yeah, <that's> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. It's cleaning out the taste of the other one. That's grim. Next one, Professor Swan. Um, I feel like we need to ask her some harder ones. Yeah, she seems to be. All right, what's twenty-seven times fifty-two? Oh fuck off! <laughs> you did maths, Ray Level, so take it away. Okay, hold on. Twenty-seven times fifty-two. Thousand and fourteen. No, no. Bean. Is it? I hate it here. I'm never coming again. Is it uh, one thousand four hundred four? Yes. What is the option? One thousand four hundred four. You're actually a bit of a genius. Uh, this is dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. <laughs> oh, this is so rough. This is going to be a good one, I reckon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, she only got bad ones. <laughs> My Finish it. So bad. Eat it all. No, I'm not eating this. Take this. <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> you eat it. Where? Where? I'm sorry, babe. Where's the patella on your body? Patella. Yeah. On your mouth. No. no give her a. Oh my god. Oh, right, this is the last one. Last one. I'm yeah. getting bullied. It's your knee, it's your knee. Just give her a couple. Oh. Give me a couple. Yeah, the patella's the rotten egg one. Oh. The rotten egg no, one. no. <laughs> I don't think we have the rotten. Oh, here we go. This one is good. Is that the same one as before? No. That's bath, isn't this it? This is bath. Mm. Delicious. That like Belle Delphine. Wait. I'm going to take this one. Just, <laughs> just go what you said. Like. What? Put that one back? Oh, mate. Why am I shaking? Mm. Just put it in I your mouth. I don't like your look on your face. Just you put it in your this. mouth. It's there only a bean. Oh, I'm going to swallow it whole like a tablet. <laughs> 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 Every single one's a bad one. That is so jokes. <laughs> These taste so grim. <laughs> oh, that tastes so fucking grim. Oh, good. Well done. Fair play. You're actually not as dumb as we thought. Dude, oh, you're geez. smart. You're actually yeah. pretty smart. It's actually surprising. <laughs> so why did you go into OnlyFans? You've got a brain. I've really hated school. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it. Like I hated sit form. I was never gonna go to uni. Couldn't do it. But you don't have to go to uni to get a job. Well, yeah, I could have gone into finance, but I did um <laughs> I did um, work experience at JP Morgan in Canary Wharf and I didn't like it. I don't like sitting in an office all day. Why don't you start like a business? I have. Other than selling your pussy pics. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else I'd start a business based off of. So wait, you, did, you, you went to do your job in this JP Morgan and then you thought, okay, fuck it, I'm just going to do OnlyFans mm. straight away. Mm. How old were you? Oh, I started OnlyFans at 18, but I've been, a, I was a waitress. So you really tried hard then <laughs> to, to, to make it in life before you- I worked before as a waitress from the while. age of 14 yeah. up until 18. I was managing the restaurant at 18. Then I went into office work for two years. So I was working alongside OnlyFans at the same time. So did you do that realistically for some attention as well? <laughs> it wasn't just for money. Oh well, yeah, who doesn't love a bit of attention? Is the attention from your partner not enough? Nah. <laughs> no, he's sweet. Do you feel like OnlyFans would ruin your relationship? No, because I started it after we've been together. So like, we don't. I didn't find him during me working. I'd already that's, been with him. That's, that's worse. That's isn't worse. It? Why? You you wasn't doing OnlyFans when you first met him. No, because I was so, younger than eighteen. Yeah. So then you I started it whilst, whilst you were. You started it whilst you were together. Yeah, in lockdown. That's worse. Yeah, that's Why? worse. We do it together because he, he would have accepted you for who you are when he got with you, but if you, he's already in love with you and then you start it, it means he's sort of like, well, I just have to accept her doing it. What do you mean? He you encouraged into, it. No, no, but you can go into a relationship knowing 
that they do OnlyFans and accept that. But yeah. if they then start it like halfway through the relationship, that's not what you kind of signed up for. But what if it was both of our ideas? If he mentioned it to me first. Is that what happened? Mm. We saw everyone doing it in lockdown. I couldn't work because I was a waitress. So. Do you not think your boyfriend's it, idea then? Not necessarily. He said, why don't you try it? And I said, well, yeah, but I had to But do did you work. suggest it first? He did, yeah. He's, so he, is he your pimp? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's basically Andrew Tate. Fuck Pretty off. much, yeah. yeah. You're dating Andrew Tate? Yeah, yeah. You're being pimped out by your boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, sure. We can go with that if you want. What's the top G like? What's the top G like? Yeah. Fuck me. Not great. What is this, Illuminati? I actually don't what know. What is this? Is this how this, he talks to is, people? This is his, uh, is this his like code thing? You're gonna learn today, the real world. <laughs> you sound like my philosophy teacher. You need to escape the matrix. God. Money. What is happening Please there? tell me you Hustle. guys don't actually- Power. Grind. Suck his dick. Cigars. No, this picture on boxing, in Shrine, in Shrine Ferraris. He loves him. He <laughs> like loves him. him. <laughs> yeah, he, lo he loves him. Yeah, I actually do really like him. He's my yeah. wallpaper. Fuck him, yeah, actually. Yeah. What, on your phone, <sighs> on my or, phone, or on my bedroom. laptop. <laughs> in your I've got my whole wallpaper across my wall is pictures of him with motivational. Just quotes. like really zoomed in on. Like his breathe cock. air. You don't need a vape. That's so inspirational. Wish yeah. I'd thought of that. Um, do you ever get worried that you're going to have to live with every STD? No. No? No. What about all these collabs you do? What, all of them with my partner? No, with the girls. Oh, no, everyone gets tested beforehand and I've actually never like eaten anyone's pussy or anything like that before. So, so what do you Why do? Why not? What do you do then? Just put Piss. Sharpies. Finger? Sharpies. Black up. Sharpies? Use toys on each other mainly. I've li I've literally only just started doing girl girl. So I've only done oh, two videos. That's, that's the beginning of so the end. <laughs> the, be the beginning of the yeah. end, yeah. So if you're straight, what was the first time you did it like? Was it like? It's a, it's a little bit awkward, but because I'm doing it with like one of my close mates, like she made me feel very comfortable. Is that not worse? Yeah, I thought yeah. that would be worse. Yeah. Not really, because I feel more awkward like with someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Real I've never had like bounced off them before. Lads, realistically, if you had to suck someone's dick, a stranger you're never going to see again or your best friend, what are you choosing? Well, none of you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't actually know what's worse. <laughs> Fuck me, just picturing. <laughs> bro, there's just no way. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> any, any, try, any time so, I try to pipe up. Imagine sucking his, like Josh's cock and looking up at him and no him way. with his McDonald's, with, with his McDonald's haircut yeah. looking down at you. Like, you look up and I'll be like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with the fat. <laughs> Strat to him. <laughs> You'd be holding it in one hand. Uh, yeah, I'd find it more weird if it was, um, a friend's my mate, I think. Yeah, yeah but yeah. girls get away with that stuff. It's different for women. Um, all right, I'm a genie and I can grant you three wishes. What wishes do you want? Well, since we're talking about anal so much and I haven't tried it, it'd be nice to be able to fit like whatever you want up there. Anything. Uh, anything. anything. What would you that put up there if you could put anything up there? I don't know. You'd have to like pick something like really wide, wouldn't you? To try and get like maximum satisfaction. Like a lamp, like a, a what, traffic cone? Uh, I mean, people have already done that. So you can get dildos. Like fake dildo traffic cones. Didn't. Um, what about the other way though? Instead of the pointy way. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that'd probably be yeah. A bit <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't once hear you say your boyfriend's dick for pleasure, but <laughs> that sounds good. True. You idiot. Um. Yeah, that's one. What's the next wish? Oh yeah. Um. Travel anywhere at any time. Like boring. That. Next one. They, but these are boring because they like help me out. I don't know. Doing my makeup really fast and do me a fucking world of pleasure. So I know, exactly. Boring. Exactly, see? Shoving stuff up my ass was the best one. Save that for the first. It's all right. Sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> Your wishes are not granted anymore. <laughs> They're too boring. So boring. Uh, I'll live. Have you ever done bestiality? No. Have you ever just looked at your dog and thought- Don't have a dog, and no. <laughs> I don't even need you to finish the question. If, if, you had to, like, if you had to pick an animal no, to do bestiality with. Would not. Well, which you one? have to. Which animal? You've got you have to Horses got big dicks now. So you know what? That was the one that was in my brain. I'm not gonna wow. lie. Wow. So would you bang a horse? I don't know. I feel like the logistics would be a bit fucked, but. No, know. you just have to go underneath it. You could take turns yeah, like riding it each like other that. and then spread. I've got a horrible image in my head right now, but it's mainly you under the horse. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd pick a uh, Oh, now I'm picturing it. Would you want a horse? <laughs> would, you, would, you, uh, would you want a horse or a dog? I feel like there would be less issues with having a dog. Fuck you! I can't believe. So you'd fuck a dog. 
Well, you could easily get crushed by a horse. It would stamp on your head and you'd be dead. So you're choosing a dog? Yeah. So what you position, want to fuck what, a dog? What, what position would you do it with the dog in? Doggy. Why yeah. doggy? Why not missionary? <laughs> because it's a fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, but then at least if you're doing missionary, you can kiss the dog. Yeah, eye contact's a big thing, you know? Neck kisses. Have you ever yeah. actually seen a dog's dick hard? Yes. Why? Because you, 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 you <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> I feel like everyone, they're disgusting. They're like little lipsticks. Little lipsticks? Little sharpies. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect size. I'm never going to live that down there. Uh, what, what, what animals would you pick? What to have sex with? Yeah. I know what I'd pick. Uh, a gorilla. Yeah, because they've got a two inch dick. Two inch dicks. What, is that all they have? Yeah. What? Why are you picking a, a male one? Would you not go for a female one? What, so you fuck it? <laughs> well, yeah. Why would you go? Because now it's What's gay worse, and bestiality. Fucking an animal or getting fucked by an animal? <laughs> getting fucked by one because it's bestiality and gay. It's just added to it. Well, it's not really gay. It's Bro, it's a dick in your ass. It's gay. <laughs> it's not a dick, mate. What do you mean it's not a dick? What are they called when it's for like animals? A, a, dick. a dick. It's still a dick. It's still called dicks. It's anatomy, it mate. Be? It is know. a penis. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a human. Stick to maths, mate. <laughs> Stick to maths. I'm just surprised you both just chose like a male animal without. They thinking. went straight away like yeah. gorilla dick, two inches in the arse. Oh, I haven't said mine yet. Oh, sorry. What was yours? I don't know. Male gorilla. Maybe like a fish. <laughs> a fish. fish? That's yeah. a mammal. Because they would be like, they'd oh. suck. You just said fish is a mammal. Yeah, you, could a mammal. Fuck, you could fuck its mouth because it suck. Fish are tiny. You'd rip it to shreds. Not all fish. Mm, no, not true. Yeah, I'm thinking of gold. Not, not, not with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not well, ripping nothing. When, you, <laughs> when you got money like Schwan, you can get big fish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, so what would you choose, actually? I said a fish. A fish. Because it would oh, suck it, like, like an cheap. eel or something. An eel. Oh, that's cheating. Yeah. An eel or a snake. That is like just elongating. Pick a mammal. Dick, really, a snake it? with no teeth. Pick a mammal. A mammal? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, man. What's a sexy animal? Oh, and you don't have to make it weird. <laughs> no. Is there any sexy? Weird, is there any yeah. sexy animals? I don't uh, think so. Do you ever just look? Oh, I don't know, like a, a teddy bear. What? A How teddy is that sexy? Bear? I don't know. What is sexy? You want to fuck a bear? A teddy bear. If I had to that, pick an animal, probably probably like, probably. Like, oh, I don't know, a panda or something. I don't know. A panda. A panda. They're cute in that. They're so huge, you want to mate. Use a panda. Pandas aren't huge. Yes, they are. Are they? They're bears, mate. Are pandas big? Yes. Yeah, they get pretty big. Do they? Yes, mate. Yeah. Do they get big? Yeah. Someone fact check that. They do. Oh, I'm surprised up. you didn't do a koala. You'd have something in you common. You're like she's an expert on pandas. <laughs> Would you not do a koala? They are between two and three feet tall. So like the same height as you then? So it's like here, mate. What are you talking about? That's not big. What are you talking about? It's like you fucking yourself, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of the short jokes. Let's talk well, about your hair. Let, let's no, talk no, about no, your hair more. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't spoken about your haircut in a while. <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed? Every time I get him back, he goes, "Your hair." <laughs> <laughs> it's a good response, though. <laughs> um, so, if you were born deaf, what language would you speak in? Whatever one you learn how to read in. Well, because you'd have to learn to read in a certain language, no. Did you just talk in sign language? No. What, you just like envision. What, what, what could you? Well, no, because if you were deaf, you wouldn't even know like how to what words sound yeah, like. You, you wouldn't have like an internal monologue, would you? No, I don't think you would. No, yeah, but you could do like sign language and shit. <laughs> sign, sign language. language. Yeah, I was talking about language. That's the only sign you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, would you bang your dad? No. 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 Question. Why? No. But would you? How much to bang your dad? There's a price on everything. There's not. There is. No, Ten too million. much of the egg. 100 billion. No. You're, Come, yes, oh, you. Mate, no. I would bang my dad for 100 billion. Be Same. <laughs> bang him for less than that, mate. <laughs> 10 grand? You sound well easy. <laughs> mate, you sound fussy. Who wouldn't bang their dad for 100 billion? You would, you're like, you would. That's actually <laughs> selfish that you wouldn't. Yeah, imagine how many people you could save. Well, can, do I have to look at him while- Yeah, you gotta look at him. Eye contact. Contact. Dad, I love it. Passionate. No, <laughs> whilst you suck his cock. Passionate kissing. Oh my God, I'll never gonna be able to look at my dad the same way again now. You wouldn't need to be 100 billion pound. Yeah, I'm talking about right now. 
Okay, should we should we do the higher? Or, let's do higher or lower. Hundred grand. I've, I've already said hundred billion. No, and you started at hundred grand. No, yeah, because hundred billion. You, well, you, you would say, you would say, it, say yeah. yes. One million. No. Ten million. No. You're yes, lying. You would. No. You're lying. You would. Oh, it gives me the ick too much. I'd fuck your dad for less. I than genuinely 10 would need. <laughs> what would you need to tell us? A lot of therapy. Yeah. You pay for it with your ten million pound. Other than other than the uh, therapy, what I think figure? I need to be electrocuted. Off. What, what figure would you need? Brain. What figure would you need? Okay, we'll go with hundred mil, but I definitely need electrocution. To the so brain. I offered so, you hundred billion. You said no. Now you're going for hundred million. Uh, you would do it for a million, I reckon. I'm not doing it for a million. You would. I'm you not doing would. it for okay, a million. Okay. Million on the table. Okay. You'd fuck your dad. Okay, so imagine your dad and your boyfriend, their souls switch bodies, and you need to fuck one. Which one would you choose? Great question. <laughs> I know. Which one would you choose? Which one are you choosing? Oh, you, you, I think I'd have to choose my dad's body with my boyfriend. Uh, you'd and fuck her. your dad's. Wow. So have you ever seen your dad's dick? No, thank God. No, me neither. You? No. No, my dad's dick actually falls out of his boxes. <laughs> it's fat. Well, it's ball sack or his dick. <laughs> no, his dick, mate, it's massive. <laughs> He didn't hand it. He his belt undone as well. He didn't hand it, he didn't hand it down to me. Belt what's what, what have you been around? And he's just been lying there with like his cock on. Like well, not me personally. He literally <laughs> walks around the house and he's got these like old saggy boxes and his saggy old cock hangs out of it. Have you ever had a word? I've had a go. <laughs> not for one million. It's just for free. Cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cheap prostitute. Nice. All uh, right. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to wrap up there. Thank you for coming on. No worries. It was eventful. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like and comment and do all them things there. Let us know who you want to see on the podcast. Comment down below and we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, it's changed. Different. So I don't know why I started like that. Different, <laughs> different segment. We thought we'd bring the boyfriend on so he can say his piece as well. Nice to meet you. Introduce yourself. Hello guys, Kieran. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Been a faceless prop for so many years. So here we are coming out of the shadows. Yeah, first question. Do you not feel like you're being disrespected having your girl's pussy out on the internet for everyone to see for what? Is it three pound a month? Oh, no, I think it's like five pounds. Five. Five pounds fifty. So All right, right. you got to talk into that. Five pounds five pound fifty. Pound 50. Oh, it's on sale at the moment, so. Oh, it's on it's sale. It's on sale. It's on sale, yeah, it's on sale. Oh. Pussy on sale. So do you not, do you not find that as like... <laughs> it's not my choice, really. It's not my body. It is slightly your choice, though. Not really, though. In, really. A, in a relationship, it's a partnership. You've got to talk to one another for their You've boundaries. You've got an opinion. You've got an opinion. But I think it's like she could have an opinion on my job, for instance. Let's just let, let's say I had a job outside of this. She can have an opinion, but at the end of the day, it's my choice. If you so, like it, good. And if you don't, that's also good. Are you fully comfortable with it? Yeah, I haven't got a problem. You, no stress. You know, uh, what? What? Aim right. your mic more towards you. Yeah, and you got when you even when you're talking to me, you just talk talking to. A them. Aim the mic completely at him because you're not. Yeah, really. No, it's alright. It's cool. Yeah, that's it's fine. Okay, like that. I direct yeah. this way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, do you not feel like uh, like it's crossing any boundaries? I think the only boundaries there are the ones you set yourself, right? So, if you're comfortable with it, at the end of the day, sex sells. If if you say your girlfriend is a Playboy model, mm -hmm. I'm dating a Playboy bunny. People say, fuck me, that's glamorous. Yeah. You say, I'm dating a, an OnlyFans girl, and they say, fuck me, she's a whore. Well, if a girl if a girl says, I date a guy that runs a business versus I date a garbage man, they're two different jobs. It's the same job, though, because a Playboy model is essentially a girl that sends sells her gash, and a girl on OnlyFans is essentially a girl who sells her gash. I don't think so it's, I don't think, I don't think it's a good thing. different be, tiers. Yeah. Yeah. Playboy get, get like... But I don't think that's, don't, I, I don't think I, that's I, an I, achievement I, either. It's I, know, not. I know girls on OnlyFans that make 60 grand a month. You you'd be pushed okay, to so find a Playboy model yeah. that makes sixty grand a month. No, that's so you're true. We're talking about tears. We're talking about minimal numbers here, though. Not a lot of girls didn't make that much money. No, of course not. But the majority of Playboy models make fuck all. So like, how literally fuck all. It is exposure. The majority of them Playboy magazine. I know because I've, I've my ex girlfriend was one. She got fucking nothing. Got a bit of a type then, don't you? <laughs> Blonde as well. But the, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's, it's it's the name of the game, right? Do you do you, okay? So. Do you not think that sex is like an intimate thing and it should just be for you guys? But there's the, different types of sex. There's a strong difference to what we do on camera and what we do between us. What we do between us, we spend our own time together, we do whatever we want. Whatever happens on camera is literally a job. It's pay-per-view. It is 
we're fulfilling a job. This is what you got to do. X prize for the minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This is the script, not really a script, but whatever. And you just go along with it. And it's a job, man. Like what we, how we have sex in our private lives is fucking chalk and cheese compared to what we do on camera because it's just, it's, it is a job. It, and I know it's, it's really hot. It's really weird. It's a really weird concept for somebody to understand that's not in the industry to just say, oh, this is a job and this is just like above, above water, above ground. So just fine. Most people struggle to wrap their head around it. I get that. But it is a business. What about, when you, what about when you have kids and then your kids see videos of you guys having sex? <sighs> to be honest, completely honest, I don't give a fuck. That off the bat, I couldn't care less <laughs> because, mm -hmm. oh, dude, by the time your kid is of a fucking age to be watching that shit, or have access to that shit, hopefully they should know about the fucking birds and the bees and how the world works. I only take nine years from birth. Nine years. I started watching porn when I was nine. Imagine your nine-year-old. That's pretty fucked, bro. Well, imagine your nine-year-old or ten-year-old comes in, kids are showing me this around school, I'm getting bullied. What if she came back and said she wants to now do a collab with a guy? It, just, it wouldn't happen, though, that's the thing. But what would, would you, you say? mind it, though? It, I think that would be, I think it would be a, diff, it, I, didn't say, I wouldn't say a difficult discussion, but there would have to be a very important discussion to see how the fuck this is going to work gonna progress you know in the future mm. what would your boundaries be around that i don't know it's it's never really been discussed because she's not interested and that's not coming from me that's coming from her uh -huh. it's what you guys are yeah, like would you mind though what if it was like a much bigger dick as well she wouldn't be able to take much bigger really and that's not me saying i've got a huge cock that's her yeah, just not being able to like it's a bit of luck. I haven't got a fucking. She's she has got a sharpie whip arsehole, So yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Struggle with that. Right. Right. Anyway, harder. yeah. Like going back to that. So, what would your boundaries be around it? I don't know. It's a, it's a hard question. Uh, right now in this conversation, probably no. Mm -hmm. But it would be a conversation. It'd be a lengthy fucking conversation to have to kind of establish some kind of because what you say, right? An opinion in the relationship. So yeah. that that conversation has to happen. So how how do you feel knowing that like if you broke up? First thing she's probably going to do, which is what she would need to do, is find a male to collab with. How, how does that sit with you, knowing that? Well, if we broke up, she'd be fucking other guys anyway. So what the fuck does it matter? What, like that? What do you mean like that? We're not together anymore. But that would be different because it's one for work and one's that. Yeah, but to, you, you are getting pleasure. Yeah, but let, let's not pretend that if you, you break up your bird, you're not going to fuck another bird and she's not going to fuck another guy. It's obviously going to happen. No, I'd wait till marriage. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> So uh, if she wanted to go into like the porn industry and she had to do like porn with like other guys and stuff like that. Doesn't pay enough, I wouldn't do it. So <laughs> if it paid enough, is that the, 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 the issue then? How much money you get out of it? So you, your boundaries kind of like- just, I wouldn't want to, you get like, it's not a good business model, I don't think, going on the hub, to be honest. Mm. It's mm. A lot of work for very little. And, and you said, um, that you you take pride in when someone compliments your girl's only fans so uh, well, i think that's quite what we said <laughs> um yeah i think it's good when somebody says your bird looks hot yeah like it's cool so you're at you're at the pub with your mates slap the phone down they've paid fiver for the month and they're just sitting there scrolling it hasn't it hasn't happened yet though because you gotta be a certain type of person i think if that happened i think if that happens to me i'll probably chin them straight away <laughs> and they know that that would happen. They know yeah. that would be the outcome of the situation. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the phone in front of you and I'm going to get a fucking hook in the jaw. Because it's not something respectful you do to your mates, is it? Let's be honest. You That's and me sitting point. in the pub with mates, I'm going to get my phone out and say, oh yeah, fucking look at that bird's assholes here, mate. Would I do that to you if we were mates? Yeah, but someone say your missus putting pictures of our asshole on the internet is not respectful as well. No, you can say what you want. Obviously, it's like we, it's not hidden. There's nothing hidden about a lot. Mm. Someone asked me, hey, what do you do for work? I said, well, I do, my, I do my missus for work. <laughs> That's what you'd say. It's not like, it's not hidden. But there's always a point of respect, right? Because all that shit you say, is, it could happen, right? But realistically, yeah. in the world, with respectful, intelligent human beings, no one's going to do that. Man. So, then you are, say, yeah, you, you're, 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 so then you're not fully comfortable with it. If someone, well, if you're getting annoyed like I don't that. No, I, I don't think anyone would be comfortable with that. I think you'd have to be devoid of any fucking manhood and fucking nous to... Be like, oh yeah, cool, man. Yeah, like, wouldn't you stick on the predictor? Like, mm. like I, I'm not sure anyone's going to be like completely like, yeah, man, wicked. But 
like, so, at, at, so the deep down, like really deep down, there is a part of you that doesn't really agree with it. Because otherwise you would be proud of it. Yeah, but there's a difference. But it's not ag agree with it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Anyone can, like, if someone's seen a video of me, I'm, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that friends of ours have seen videos of us fucking. They definitely Curiosity subscribed. Killed the cat. Mm -hmm. Curiosity killed the cat. Like, that's just human nature. I'm 100% on board with that. And that's fine, mate. If you pay to see the content. Do you reckon any of your mates have had, had a wank to your partner? Almost 100%. Yeah, that was my next almost question. 100%, <laughs> almost 100%. Almost 100%. But again, that's human nature. You can't fucking stop that, mate. Like, I'm not, I've not got a problem with men being men because they're men. So you're back in the pub, right? <laughs> night, <laughs> night before, they bust to your girlfriend. Now they're sitting opposite her talking to her. How would you, yeah, how, how, would, how would that he, make you feel? But how would he know? What, is he no, just no, say, 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 like, say, no, 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 say, no, say you went on your, say time. you went on your mate's phone, yeah? And you saw on his history, he you know going through. I'd probably through. have a laugh, actually. I'd probably find it quite funny. Mm. I'd probably find it, find it quite funny. It all depends. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. So okay. you can say the exact same thing. You can like, whatever, show me a fucking photo, video, whatever. If you are looking to offend me and you're going out of your way, probably will and i'll probably take offense but if you you don't mean offense generally just fucking conversation whatever or maybe it's not like someone trying to fucking go for you your, it's just, but your mate is behind your back wanking to your partner and you'd he's, find he's, it funny he's paying my bills bro well yeah kind of if there was no one like that on the planet we would never job. you gotta think of it like that you'd have different jobs well we would we'd have different jobs. Your, your, e <laughs> your eq we'd is quite we high have, we wouldn't have this job his, his EQ is quite high with his emotional. Like, he, your emotional intelligence is quite... Been through a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's quite like you've got it together. What did you call it? EQ. EQ. It's like IQ, but for emotions. EQ. Never heard that before. I got the <laughs> so we Should we wrap it up there? Yeah. That's good. I mean, unless you have any more statements. <laughs> you got more questions. <laughs> no, I think, I think we'll wrap up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope we, you enjoyed the little segment. Let us know what you think of the two of them sitting there, because if it does come out good and sounds good, maybe we can get some more couples on. Yep. Yep. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that there. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, guys. Later.